This is the video for the code.org uh, web unit, lessons eight and nine. Lesson eight really just talks about usage rights for copyrighted versus a creative common usage material. So I'm gonna go over to Google really quick and I know we can search for dogs and then click on images and find a bunch of images of dogs. Uh, but what I'm more concerned about is the usage rights. So if I come over to settings and I click on advanced search, I can come down here to usage rights and then creative commons. Now, just if you've never done an advanced search in Google before, there's different ways you can filter for images you're looking for, colors, uh, type of file that you want. So I'm gonna click again, just my creative commons. And what a Creative Commons license is, is a free to use license, meaning you can use it as long as you're not trying to make money off of it, uh, make merchandise or other things, meaning it's a free for the public to use as long as they're not trying to profit from it. And there's different levels again to that license. Where copyrighted images uh, are something that's owned by someone and that you can't use to make money off of. So for an example, I could go again to Google and I could search something like Baby Yoda. I could go to my images. I could go to settings, advanced search, and come to my Creative Commons license. And you're gonna notice there's still pictures that show up here. Just because the pictures show up here does not mean that they are free to use. Disney still owns the copyright for Baby Yoda. So I can't profit off of it, even though the picture itself would have a Creative Commons license to it. So be aware that you can't infringe on somebody else's property. So I can uh, find a picture that I want to use. I can right click on that picture and I can save image as on my computer. So I'm just going to leave this as the file name on my desktop. Now, lesson nine in code.org deals with uh, programming images. So I downloaded that image and I'm going to click here to add image. I'm gonna click on upload file. I'm gonna to go to my desktop where I saved that one. I'm gonna click on my, uh, the dog that I just had. And you're gonna see I've uploaded that file and now it's listed here in my little file section. I can refresh uh, and save, or sometimes I have to refresh the page if I lose this once I've uploaded an image. It's a glitch on the code.org platform. Now, if we talk about how to program an image, we're gonna use the image tag, but it has to coincide with the file. So here we can see we have an image tag, we have the SRC, which is the source for the image, which is the file name, and then the alternate description, alt equals, and then parentheses your description, and then we uh, close our bracket. What the alternate description is, if your photo doesn't load, it's what will appear. Or if you have a person that is uh, blind or hard of sight, um, their special software that will read that alternate description. So it's important that we code that. So if I wanna put a cat in, we're gonna notice I'm coming under my cat section here, and I'm gonna open up my uh, tag, IMG, and then uh, what you're gonna notice is I have to probe or type in my source, SRC. What is the source of this? Well, the source for this one is my cat file. Then I want to go ATL, alternate description, and I have a fluffy cat sitting on a chair. Again, this will never be seen unless uh, the photo doesn't load or again, the person uh, is hard of sight and then they'll be read to it using special software. I close my tag out and I have my image that loads. So again, I'll show you in the next video how to bring in your own image. It'd be the same process of writing that code, uh, but just attaching your source uh, image to it.